In a court of law, one is innocent until proven guilty. This is important to remember when it comes to Josh Duggar. The 33-year-old who was arrested on two counts of child pornography last week certainly seems like someone who would commit such a heinous crime. But he has not yet been tried, let alone convicted of this or any other criminal offense. He pleaded guilty in front of a judge in Arkansas last week. The court of public opinion, however, is different. No such evidence is needed. A jury of anyone's peers does not determine whether one keeps one's job. Sometimes a person or a business just has to do what is obvious and right. Obvious, right and above all ethical. Which is what brings us to Josh Duggar and TLC, the network that has employed his family for a decade. As you very likely know at this point, Duggar was arrested on April 28th for possession of child pornography. He has been accused of downloading material in May 2019 that included photos of minors under the age of 12. If convicted on both charges for which he was taken into custody last week, Duggar could face up to 40 years in prison. As you also likely know at this point, Duggar admitted in 2015 to having inappropriately touching five little girls. He did this when he was 14, four of whom are believed to have been his own sisters, and the fifth a babysitter. In response, TLC quickly cancelled 19 kids in Counting. However, the network then struck up another deal with the Duggar family almost immediately, spinning off that program into Counting On. No Josh on it. That was the only difference. Said the cable network last Friday after Josh's arrest. TLC is saddened to learn about the continued troubles involving Josh Duggar. 19 Kids and Counting has not aired since 2015. TLC cancelled the show on the heels of prior allegations against Josh Duggar, and he has not appeared on air since then. Ah yes, if only it were that simple. That's an almost comically empty and misleading statement from the network. If only TLC truly had washed its hands off the Duggars after this awful scandal that came out six years ago. Instead, executives have continued to air Counting On for 11 seasons since, lining the pockets of Jim Bob Duggar in the process. This is the same Jim Bob Duggar who covered up his oldest son's molestation misdeeds back in the day and who has been accused of stealing from his own children. Derek Dillard is among those who made this latter allegation against his father-in-law. And now the wife Jill Duggar is going public with his complaints against TLC. In a series of social media exchanges on Monday, Dillard said the network didn't really cancel 19 Kids and Counting. No matter what language higher-ups used at the time or now, Derek is saying the quiet part out loud, people. The network simply rebranded the show as Counting On and happily kept giving the Duggars a major platform. We pushed back for a long time and pretended like there was nothing wrong on the outside before we finally got to the place where we quit," Dillard told followers a few days ago about his experience. Why did it take so long to bail? He added that it was very hard to leave the show because Jim Bob used scare tactics against anyone who spoke out. Jim Bob of course claimed he did his best to handle Josh's child molestation in-house while essentially covering up the scandal. Concluded Dillard on this topic. My main message at this point is just for people to evaluate critically and not just assume things are as they appear on the surface. Dillard has not been alone in criticizing TLC. Jacob Roloff is another former reality TV star, having appeared on Little People Big World until quitting in the summer of 2016. He claimed in 2020 that a producer assaulted him many years ago, and then added this week that the network never followed up with him in any way afterward or bothered to check on his well-being. Roloff blasted his ex-employer on Instagram for its reaction to his accusation and then to its reaction to this Josh Duggar arrest. Re Duggars, he wrote. TLC's statement of essentially he hasn't been on air in a while, he says, glosses over that they continue to air terrible people. Terrible people with sometimes terrible producers for often terrible motives for Boku ratings and profit and still profiting. The Duggars are kind of totally terrible human beings, Jacob straight up says here, and they often work with terrible producers. Jacob continues, When the terrible of all that gets uncovered, TLC walks away with the Boku profits and… nothing else, maybe a twin spin-off. Roloff concluded with a remarkably simple point. 
a plea really, stop playing into TLC's hand. TLC doesn't give a shit about what happens on or off camera, as long as they get paid and you lot keep watching. Don't. Based on Dillard's first-hand account, and Roloff's first-hand account, and what we know about Josh Duggar's distant past, not to mention his recent past and the way his parents have handled everything, only one real question should remain. How does TLC remain in business with the Duggars? Okay, maybe two more questions. How has TLC not yet cancelled Counting On? How do the network executives look at themselves in the mirror every day without vomiting? That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.